Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini and Aquarius relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, because I don't want this to be too long. I am going to make a separate video, you know, just to say my thanks and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. I did pull individual energy for Gemini, and I also pulled individual energy for Aquarius. And then we'll take a look at you guys as a couple. I am... Where are my cards I'm using? I just pulled them. Where are they? Really? I don't need this right now. Really, guys? Okay, let me get these cards. Oh, where'd they go? Hang in there with me for a second. What the heck just happened to those cards? Hmm. Am I not supposed... Here they are. Got them. All right, guys. Give me one second. Hang right here. And they happen to be in the same room because I just pulled them. I wanted to make sure that I focused on, because these are love relationships. You have the uh, opportunity to take this as a business partnership. Do I see love here? No. No, I don't. I see some effery, but you know how that goes. We're going to use clarifying situations for our love deck. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Gemini, I'm going to need your energy right now. In this relationship with Aquarius, okay? So we're going to do that. Gemini, give me your energy. Okay, that was fast. All right. There's something about a deep dive or a refusal to take a deep dive, deep thinking into a situation, into this relationship. Some of you guys neglected a relationship here. You have only just started to learn your soul's depth. What truly matters will rise to the surface. Now, if you don't do a deep dive, this is never going to happen. And I feel like this could be stalling you in some way, stalling you from growth, stalling you from motivation, stalling you from moving forward. Hold on. You know, it's, it's cold here today. It is cold, but then it's warm in here. It's like, it's the weirdest thing. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah, there's a need for you guys to go ahead and take a deep dive into a situation, perhaps this relationship. So you can find some kind of harmony or understand why things went the way they went, are going the way they're going, something like that. So that energy is coming up for you. Look at this here. All right, let's see what else is going on. Give me more, please, for Gemini in this relationship with Aquarius. We also have foresight. Gemini, there's a need for you to believe in yourself, but bring your umbrella. Be prepared for rain or sunshine. Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all, there are storms coming, right? So I think everybody might be going through something. Everybody, and I mean everybody. This is not just limited to Gemini. Everybody needs to take a deep dive into their lives. As a matter of fact, I plan on taking a day. I do. And I want a deep dive. I want to go into, and I am. I'm going to go into a day of prayer, right? I will be online, but it might be a day where you may not see a big online presence from me. It's probably going to be a Saturday or something like that because that's my tradition, right? So... Um, well, that's my tradition. That wasn't what, you know, my, you know, anyway, y'all know what I mean, but I am going to take a deep dive. I'm going into deep prayer because there are some things that I know need to be fixed, right? I know that we are all being fought, fought by these outside forces that are coming in and trying to start hell in our lives. I understand that. We all understand that times are changing. So there's a need to believe in yourselves, but be prepared. It's going to rain. And it's going to be sun, so that's going to be some good days, some bad days. But you need foresight to get through this. So a deep dive is necessary, right? And foresight, be prepared, right? So things are coming up. And what I mean by that is you're going to utilize the resources around you to get through some things. Some of you guys need to focus on prayer. Some of you guys are prayed up, but you're still looking for direction. Reach out to the preppers. Look at prepper channels. Get ready, all right? Give me more, please, for Gemini. We also have here opening. Some of you guys are so closed off that you're not able to move. I feel like some of you guys understand, Gemini. I need to take a deep dive into what my situation is so I can get to the root of it, deal with it, have better relationships, better, better home life, better work life, better work life, balance, prayer, whatever it is you do, right? But there's something about opening here that I feel like you guys with this foresight, you're like, oh, I see it now. I see what needs to be worked on. The whole world flows through you. And the sky opens to show you the way. You are never lost. Some of you guys might feel lost right now and you're looking for a way to alleviate some of the pain. I get that. All right, so we're going to put this over here. 
I'm going to put that there. All right. So opening. Some of you guys need to be a little more open. And I feel like the foresight is telling you, yes, I need to open up. But as I open, as I am able or want to release these things, I need to be prepared for what comes with it. So that's rain, that's sun, that's people talking crap about you, your spirituality, your relationship. Oh, this and that, right? So you guys need to be open. Some of you guys are so closed off, you literally just need to open up. All right? But some of you guys, you literally... You need to sleep on the prayer booth or whatever you need to do. Get a pillow. Get a pillow. Get on your knees and pray. Don't get a, don't get on your knees for the other reasons. I'm talking about the prayer getting on your knees. You heard? All right. Give me one more for Gemini in this relationship with Aquarius, please. Give me more. Gemini. We also have here rising. Some of you are failing to rise to the occasion. The night is so long. But just when you give up hope, the sun rises. Some of you guys need to understand this. I feel like this is what the foresight is about. Some of you guys understand that I am closed off. I have foresight. The foresight is telling me I need to open up. I need to rise to some sort of occasion. But I'm giving up. Some of you guys don't give up on whatever it is you're trying to do. There's something about rising. So I think that's what it is. You're trying to get to the core of here. This could be a relationship. We'll see. Or this could be something having to do with a, uh, a love relationship or partnership. Just your spiritual life. Your life in general. Aquarius. Let me shuffle. Aquarius. Give me information, please. What are your feelings in this relationship right now with Gemini? Aquarius. Dawning. And it's upright. That's a good thing. Birds sing at dawn. Because they have made it through the night. There's a new day for you to sing about. You guys, it looks like you might be a little bit more advanced in your Gemini here with dawning. For some of you guys, you're a little bit more open. You might be spiritually advanced. Dawning is there's a new day for you to sing about. For some of you guys, you've been through hell. In this relationship with this Gemini, been through hell, mistreated, abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, whatever this is, right? But you guys understand, you've done the work and you're like, or we'll see where it goes. But for some of you guys, this whole spread could be limited to, you might relate to this one card, right? There's a new day to sing about. I woke up anyway. I'm here anyway. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. But I'm here anyway and I'm still sharing. What do you do? It says, what do you guard so much? So some of you guys, it says secrets are only worth silence they keep. Secrets are only worth the silence they keep. It is time to speak. Aquarius is 2024. Some of you guys have had this revelation that it's time for you to speak up about something in a relationship. Time for you to tell the truth about something. Be forthright. Be honest. I'm not happy. This failed. I failed. This, that, the other. There's a need for you to speak. Some of you guys have been holding this pain in. And I don't want to cry during this read, but I've been holding pain in too. For years, I never said anything. I just, I figure if you walk away from the situation, if you leave it, maybe things will get better. But what people fail to realize is demons follow you. You can try and seek all the silence and peace that you want and try and get your life together. These demons will follow you. They'll move into the house next door. They'll move across the street. They'll send people just like I've been going through my whole life. People following me. So it's time for you guys to speak up. You need to say what needs to be said. You speaking will probably help somebody else. You speaking could probably save you. And it's painful because I didn't want to speak. I was forced to. You, Anybody that knows me, I would never get up on this here radio or the internet or anything and get up and, and just say all types of foul. I mean, if it's passionate, if you just, a, if you one of them, you know, one of them people, I'm a, I'm a, I've always been one to call you out. But I've always been one to walk away from nonsense and people try and drag you back into it, right? Exes following you around for years. Exes having their new people and exes follow you. Like exes got exes that are still following you. Parked outside the house, following you around when you walk. Stuff like that. You guys need to speak up about this because when you speak, that's when the public knows and that's when the government knows and the powers that be know that this is a real thing. And it brings attention to organizations or people who are doing all types of nonsense against you. So there's a need for you to speak and there's a need for you not to be ashamed of it. I, I shut my mouth for years about what these people was doing. I let it go to the point where this last go round, I didn't even know what was happening. I had no idea because I was so engrossed. 
I was over here praying, and I had the devil calling me up to my, um, can you bring me some coffee? I said, I'm praying right now. I'm your mother. I don't give a damn who you are. I'm not giving up the Lord for you because you got people out there who are not, they claim they spiritual. They claim they up preaching, but they want to interrupt your prayer. And it's all in efforts to cover up or mask something that they could be doing. So I want you guys to understand you got demons out here, demons trying to get away with murder, literally murder. All right, trying to get away with abuse, theft of property, theft of banking accounts, money, whatever it is, they're trying to get away. So you guys need to speak because people need you to. Give me more, please, for Aquarius. What else? Is there anything that they need to improve on? Because I see that they understand. I'm going to share this. I'm, I was able to wake up. I feel like you guys have been woken up so many times after times that you thought you wouldn't wake up. After being beat up so many times, having black eyes, punched in the stomach, losing babies because somebody kicked you, it's time to speak up about it. No more. And you're going to share your story. The secrets are only worth the silence they keep. Give me more, please. We also have here advance. Mm. Follow your dreams one step at a time. Little steps add up to big things. Just keep going. I don't see Aquarius giving up. I see Aquarius giving in to fighting. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight this abuse. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight that, right? That's what I get for you guys. Give me one more, please. <sighs> Give me one more, please. Movement. Mm. The wheel keeps turning when the wind is steady. Listen, you guys are going to keep going. That's just confirmation for advance. There's something where you guys need to keep going. To stay in the flow, just keep moving. So no matter what these folks say, these things are not, there's some situations that don't need to happen. And I feel like you guys are like, listen, I'm going to share my story. Sharing my story is going to get me out of some sort of a rut. Sharing my story is going to help other people help me advance. And there's going to be movement. So if you notice for Aquarius, all the cards came out upright. Let's take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. All right. Well, let me put these over here. Yep. That was just me taking a sip of coffee. Gemini. In this relationship, I have the Page of Pentacles that comes out reversed for you. So let's just take a look at it, right? The Page of Pentacles reversed. The energy that is coming up under your line here is somebody who is lazy, unmotivated, uninterested in working or developing themselves, right? So you're uninterested in moving forward and doing something. The cards are saying this is pure laziness. The cards also specify that you could be in the state of laziness to the point where you won't even take a class. Never mind a job. Never mind the pie wagon being two steps in front of the house. You're not going to walk down them two steps to sell no pies. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm uninterested in that. It says that there's some kind of disappointment. For some of you guys here, the reason why you could be failing at something is because you failed to apply yourself. There was an exam for some of you guys that needed to be passed. And you did not. For some of you guys, you wanted to get into a specific institution or a college or something like that, right? And for some of you guys, it didn't happen. I feel like for some of you guys, this could also be about a job that you wanted, applied for, and you didn't get it, right? And it's because some of you guys simply did not do the work. I am lazy, unmotivated, and unwilling to better myself. Yet, I want the best. I want Yale. I want Harvard. I want Spelman. I want Morehouse. I want 4.0. How are you going to get a 4.0 if you ain't studying, right? So I want you to apply that to every aspect of life. How are you going to become a CEO if you don't do the work? How are you supposed to run a company if you don't get up and work? Literally, you sleep maybe four or five hours. How do you do that? This person here doesn't want to do the work. So this is somebody here who wants to creme de la creme and are not willing to put in the work to get it. We also have the King of Cups that comes up reverse. And I want to take a look at this for you too. When you see the King of Cups here, this talks about an abusive person. Now, this, Gemini, this is you being abusive to your Aquarius, which is what I'm getting here. For some of you guys, this is emotional manipulation. Somebody's trying to distract you so you can't pass anything. Or you might be so worried about, you know, I want this, I want that, that I'm going to manipulate somebody else to get it. I'm going to manipulate my Aquarius to get it. I don't want to do any work. I'm going to let Aquarius worry about that. The King of Cups upright would suggest that you are somebody who's supportive, tolerant, right? An empathetic leader. I don't get that. I get for some of you guys that there's a need for you to move away from dependency on other people, 
other people's work, a mentor, a teacher. But Aquarius, this Gemini might be trying to get rid of you. That's the energy that I'm coming up with. Or Gemini, there could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio trying to get rid of you. Or Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo trying to get rid of you. Manipulating you. Manipulating the situation so you can't focus. So it's a question of why are you in this energy? The vibe that I'm getting is you don't want to work, whoever you are. And I wanted you guys to understand that this is not going to be every Gemini Aquarius relationship. It's not. I feel like it's just this Gemini and this Reed who's manipulative. They want to get rid of you. Too much dependence on a father, a mentor, a teacher. They, hey, you know, hey, teacher, let me sweet talk you so I can get an A, so I can get into Harvard. But then you get into Harvard, right? And Harvard says, well, what the heck are you doing here? Because you don't know what you're doing. You can't even put one, two, and three together. There's no A, B, and C. How'd you get in this institution? Then you flunk out, right? So I see failed exams. I see failing. We have the Six of Swords that comes up for you. This is something where you guys are moving away. Because I think you get into this where you start to move away from this energy with the Six of Swords. I feel like you graduate emotionally. I feel like you guys graduate on another level. Graduate in terms of growth. Graduate from a school. I feel like for some of you guys, you get yourselves together. After you realize that you are being manipulated or there's something here where somebody hurt your feelings and said, honey, you can't read. So I don't even know what you're doing here. Somebody going to come out and say what the heck they got to say to get you on a straight and narrow. And I think that happens with the six of swords here. This is you moving away from past troubles, right? This is going to be a new phase after upheaval. These two cards here symbolize upheaval in this relationship. For some of you guys, this could be a story between you and your child. For some of you guys, this is you and your partner who promised you they were going to do better and they don't. We also have here, this is reintegration, right? After a time of suffering. Some of you guys could have been mourning over something. For some of you guys, you're moving away, but you don't know where the destination is. Some of you guys got kicked out of school. How do I go home and tell these parents that I got kicked out of this institution? I'm thinking, how do I tell them? Some of you guys are moving away. You're going to find your path before you actually make an announcement, something like that, okay? So there's this unknown destination, but you guys are being advised that after doing this work here, right? And that's where I see that you're rising. I feel like a lesson is learned once you get into foresight. You got that foresight where you're now open. I'm now open to studying. I'm now open to getting to know my partner. I'm now open to being kind to my partner, working with my partner, Aquarius. It says luck is on your side as long as you stay in this energy of awareness all right so we see that now in other news i feel like some of you guys could be moving away from this aquarius right maybe this aquarius was the one who put you in this mode aquarius when we take a look at your energy we have the high priestess that comes up for some of you guys here this is something that's yet to be revealed aquarius it says here i don't know if i'm talking to two students who could be dating each other or Two people trying to new, uh, learn something new in life. Maybe you guys are older or something like that. I feel like it says you guys here maybe have learned something. It was some new knowledge that you received or something that somebody taught you here with the high priestess. This is about secrets, mystery, using your intuition in a situation. For some of you guys, there's some sort of a, a release. There was some knowledge that was released to you. On a darker side of this, some of you guys were too immature to get this knowledge that you were given, right? Too young to know or too young to understand how to use something, apply it, when to use it. For some of you, six months, you could have been studying a dark energy. On a darker side of this, whatever this dark energy is that you learned, you could have practiced it, right? But there's something hidden coming out. For some of you guys, there's going to be some secret coming out that your kid or you or somebody could be in a vegetative state. Because they did some dark work. And the backfire is vegetation. Right? This is what's going to come out. Another thing that could come out on the end of Aquarius is that you guys have this day personality and a night personality. So it could be a light side and a dark side that you're aware of. But I feel like there might not be any balance in using it. Or maybe you're finally learning how to. Something like that. There's something being hidden that needs to be revealed in this relationship for some of you. What's being revealed, Aquarius, is that you're dealing with a lazy Gemini. Lazy. They're manipulating you. Or whatever. Or they feel this way about you. Whatever that is. 
But I also feel like this, this knowledge of this thing that you are too immature to practice or use. It brings the Ten of Swords on. So this is you holding back. Not taking steps to move into a new cycle. So I feel like both you guys could have been stuck. At the end of the day, I feel like there's some codependency. One is manipulative and the other one is stuck. I feel like Gemini, you could have manipulated your Aquarius here. Holding back. Not making it to a new cycle. Making excuses for yourself or somebody else. Aquarius, are you covering for a Gemini? Aquarius, you could be covering something up because you want things to remain status quo. I want things to look the way they look. I want them to look perfect. I don't want my situation to change. I don't want people to know that my partner, my husband, my wife, my boyfriend, my girlfriend is lazy. Something like that. So you guys, you are prolonging agony. You're prolonging it. And it's, this situation is going to change anyway, but you're prolonging something or attempting to. Prolonging a relationship with somebody who's manipulative? Really? I mean, I get it when you're in it. Maybe you don't see it like that, but I feel like you guys start to see. There's the two of swords that comes up. Stasis. This is a period of uncertainty. Some of you guys feel helpless in this situation. I can't do anything. This could be a husband and wife at odds. You could have a wife going to work every single day with the husband wilding out. You bring home the money. You got to go buy the food. This person sits on a the couch. They will not take a class. They won't work on a pie wagon. They won't even go buy groceries while you're at work. Won't clean the house while you're at work. Nothing. So one of them people. The cards are saying here that there's a husband and wife at odds and the truth of a situation is going to come out. Or it needs to. The cards say that Aquarius has come to the conclusion that most likely we're not going to be able to work through this situation. Because one party's unwilling to admit the truth in a situation. That could be you, Aquarius. You may not be willing to admit the truth about your Gemini, your behavior, what they've done. Some of you guys may not be willing to admit the truth about what it is you've been studying, practicing. I want status quo. The common energy between you guys is this empress reverse. So there could be an interruption in this relationship. This could be some sort of a female authority with the empress reversed. The Empress reversed is somebody who is dependent on each other. So I feel like this is a codependent relationship. It could be something here where you are dependent on a, each other, parents, mentors. There's something here with fertility issues. And some of you guys are staying in this relationship because of limited resources. I can't afford my bills without this person, says Gemini, because it says you're not working anyway. Aquarius is like, I don't have the energy to do anything else but work. Because my Gemini, who's there for me, yes, but they don't have anything to offer. They're not doing anything. They're not working, da da da. You know the story, right? So some of you guys are hanging in there. Gemini, you're holding on to Aquarius because of what they can do for you, what they can offer. Aquarius, you might be holding on to Gemini because of the way it looks. I still have a husband. I still got a wife. They're home every single day. That's better than I can say for, you know, Frank or Rosa down the road their husband ain't never home their wife ain't never home the wife is off walking the streets the husband is doing this their boyfriend's always off cheating mine doesn't cheat mine doesn't this and that they're always home but other than the body next to you what else does this person have to offer they're a pulse the empress reversed here i'm gonna get into this both you guys could be codependent but both you guys take responsibility for taking care of each other. What does that mean? I'm a warm body in the bed to you, says Jim and I. I'm always home. That manipulative, listen, I'm going to play video games all day, but I'm not going to work. But I'm here when you get home. You should appreciate that. Because Aquarius, says Jim and I, if you opt, if you opt to go uh, hang out with, uh, I don't know, Roger down the road, or if you decide to go date somebody else or get divorced to break up, you're going to end up with somebody who ain't home. They manipulate you and tell you what's not available to you. It's almost like, yeah, you should be happy that I'm home with you. Never mind the fact that I don't work and I ain't got nothing else to offer. All I do is play video games and all I do is sit on the couch and I'm still here. That's their point. They're like, I'm here for you. And in their mind, this is really what they mean. But at the end of the day... Somebody might have hurt their feelings because it says that they're moving on too after a time of suffering. 
There's something where they're going off into the unknown. The unknown for Gemini in this scenario could simply be a position at Dunkin' Donuts. The unknown to me is working. I don't know. They, maybe they start you with four hours or something. I never worked four hours a day. I always had Aquarius taking care of me. So the unknown could you, be you transitioning into finally taking a class, finally starting at four hours and maybe working up to 40. Maybe you're starting your own business finally. Maybe you decided to make money off playing video games. There's some plan, something like that, right? But with the Two of Swords here, somebody's unwilling to admit that one party is unproductive in this relationship. Aquarius, you finally come to this conclusion, and this is where it gets a little weird. You finally come to this conclusion that this is something that is going to be impossible to work through. All right. This also talks about what it looks like. There could be some lying, some deceit, manipulation, and also duplicity. The cards say here that there's a need for you guys to take time out and stop neglecting your own needs. Like Gemini, you know you need a job or something, or you need to get some income, or you need to do something to show that you're productive, something, right? You need to take the two steps outside to the food truck, then you got to get in, start it up, then you got to pull it up at the park at lunchtime, right? And then you got to wait for the people to come and you got to serve the food. Because I feel like Aquarius took a lot of energy to try and help get you started in something and you're just not applying it. You're just not doing it. The work truck is right in front of the doggone house and you won't work on a pie wagon. That just escapes me. I know I'm sharp today. My mouth is... I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't got the patience for nonsense. <laughs> so in any case here, there's a possibility that because Aquarius came up with the solution like this is not going to work, where odds... We're not working together. I'm no longer interested in just keeping things as status quo. They might say to you, here, here's a scenario or ultimatum. This is what you need to do. And it could result in Aquarius actually kicking Gemini out. Luck is on your side. Now that you don't live here, you have no choice. You either go to the shelter or you go outside to the pie wagon and make some money. I feel like somebody gave somebody like some scenario or something like that. But there's this empress reverse energy. Somebody who wants to suck or leech off other people. What does that actually mean? Somebody could be leeching for money. The other one's leeching for emotion and comfort in a bed. Some of you guys don't even have sex. It's just a warm body. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get my, uh, my love cards. And let me just put these where they need to be so I can reference them if I need to. All right. So I'm going to go over to the other side. I'm going to put these over here Hold on. so I can see them. I mean, I like I said in my other read, I just got to tell you guys the truth. It is what it is. This may not be everybody's story. This is not going to be every Gemini, Aquarius situation. So don't worry about that piece of it. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. We're going to go ahead and get into love. All right, let's go. Hang on, guys. Give me one sec. All right, let's go. Love. Ooh. Set of 12, I'm using the beat up ones. All right, let's go. Gemini, show me your energy in this relationship with your Aquarius, please. Let's see if I can move that over just a little bit. You'll be able to see them, but I'll be able to see them so I can reference them if I need to. Let me see something. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we got enough room. All right, let's go. Everything's got to be measured these days. I'm just saying, like, and I think that's for everybody. Measuring space, measuring pace. <laughs> All right. Gemini, give me your energy in this relationship with your Aquarius, please. Give me your energy in this relationship with Aquarius. Gemini, release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Some of you guys are still holding on to a situation where you are not growing. Take it out, resonates. Some of you guys are literally, because this does depict some sort of deception here, but it looks like it's on the end of Aquarius, or Aquarius has some suspicion that a Gemini could be holding on to some emotions for an ex. You ever see some people that get into a relationship, like they'll be crap to you, but when they end up with the next person, they're just, oh, I'm working now and all this other stuff. Somebody's holding on to something. There's somebody here who feels like 
there's an ex available to them and ex is still an option or they might be holding on to what an ex did in the past for some of you guys the empress reversing this energy is that ex getting in y'all's way give me more there could also be an empress reverse also signals a mistress getting in between you guys so there could be some uh, cheating love for gemini Religious factors does come out reversed here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like for some of you guys, it is not, it doesn't matter, right? So for some of you, uh, that don't matter to you religion, okay? But for some of you guys, you might be rejecting somebody because you're like, oh, you pray too much. And if you pray, that means you're not going to let me carry on with my mistress and let all types of folly go on. Dang right. <laughs> Uh-huh, staying home and playing video games and having conversations. Where do they have them conversations at? You know, what's that app? It's an app. One of them word games, people talking to cop. Because I, I had this friend I used to work with, and I don't know what she was doing. She said she used to talk to some man in a conversation area of, of a board game, an online board game, to hide from his wife. Now, you don't agree with that crap. I said, oh, do you? And she actually, she's one of the ones that came up against me, so... That's why you suffering now. I just want you to point that out. You know who you are. The reason why stuff came out the way it came out, the reason why some of our children have issues is because we have them under circumstances that are shady. So you're like, oh, Lord, why did this happen to me? Some things are faded, right? But some things we aggravate. Don't get me started. And now you in more trouble. I hope your kids are grown by now because your ass going to jail, sis. Just saying. Give me more, please. She know who she is. I don't know if she even knows she I'm, I don't know if she listens to this channel, but she was in on the money ring. Mm -hmm. She was in on the money ring too, so I'm sure she knows. And yes, honey, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for everybody. You do some F stuff, you're gonna get it right back. That's how we gonna do that. I don't give a what who you is. More Gemini deception. Look at this here mess. Gemini, it says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now it's either Aquarius or it's you. From what I'm seeing here, it's Gemini. And Aquarius knows it. They know something ain't right about this relationship. They know you've been having conversations through the app with somebody that's married or in a relationship and you decided to it's a couple of chicks like that they and it's you know what listen everybody ain't raised the same but don't get mad at me because i don't agree with it me and you ain't on the same page we don't need to be friends anyway i don't rock how you rock so you get mad because i choose to live one way and you choose to live another so you're gonna get in on the money ring and let me tell you money ring hun what i'm gonna do is call your ass out and that's exactly what we gonna do so you was having an affair inside the uh inside the app having conversations so you could hide it the man was hiding from the wife the wife found out anyway and boy did she get mad and that chick went for blood and i don't blame her listen now aquarius give me your energy in this relationship i don't care i'm coming for you simple as that aquarius give me your energy yup we have children jeez your love life is being affected by children. For some of you guys, you are opting to stay in this relationship because you have children with this person. This really does speak to that. You cook, you clean, you got to take care of the kids. You got this person at the house who's over there having conversations with another chick or man through these apps. They ain't clean the house. They've been home all day, ain't got no job, don't want to go to school, don't want to work on a pie wagon. I'm not going to take this card. I'm going to shuffle again. Um, stuff like that. And you left taking care of the kids too. Some of y'all are real. This is a real. Then there's a mistress that got the nerve to show up. Ain't that about a mother? Mm. Yup. So the mistress you coming to, I'm going to expose you. This is a party of three here. Yup. Hold on. Give me more. Give me love for Aquarius and this relationship with Gemini. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Some of you guys are thinking of reconciling. Because there are children involved. For some of you guys, your Gemini could be reconciling with somebody else because they got children with them. Love yourself first. There's something about a need to love oneself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. For some of you guys, you have not demanded any respect in your relationship, which is why you have your person cheating all over you on the apps. So instead of saying, listen, because you guys got to understand, this person's not producing anything anyway. It's probably you taking the kids to daycare while this person is staying home all day long, 
playing video games, eating up the food that you got to buy after you get off work, then pick the kids up. Listen, you would get the heck all the way out my house. Bye. You ain't, you're not good. What are you good for? Nothing. And I'm wondering, never mind. Give me common energy between these folks here. Give me the common energy between, all right, we got one. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now, I feel like for some of you guys, you may not be doing this just yet. I feel like even if somebody is expressing some kind of energy to a third party, I feel like they might be holding back. They're holding back because they feel like, I feel like you guys, I feel like somebody may have gotten caught doing something or Aquarius, you alerted Gemini. I know what you've been doing. So maybe you got Gemini shaking in their boots. Maybe they scared to flirt with this hoe over here, this mistress or whoever this person is, this energy. But that's only for a little while. They're going to get right back. Remember, this person ain't right. So what I'm going to do is put that right there. We already pulled love. I got that. I'm going to leave them there because I think it's okay to leave it. I'm going to leave that there. And then what I'm going to do is just pull the conversation and we are up out this mother. All right. Where's my conversation cards? Hold on, y'all. I feel really bad, guys. I do. But I cannot deliver these lightly. I can't. You people got to know what's going on. I, You know, at the end of the day, I feel like we're all, I'm accountable. Like, if I don't tell you what I see, and if I don't honestly tell you what I see from both sides, I'm held accountable to the Lord. So I can't just... I have a responsibility, so I'm really sorry whoever don't like it. That's too bad. I don't like it either. I don't like reading this stuff because I can actually relate to some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Some of it, any of us can. Some of us know somebody like this, and this ain't even my sign, and I know all about this nonsense. I can give you examples for days of how these people will go and try and hide their affairs. They hide them in apps. Oh, I was talking on a dating site, but this ain't a dating site. This is straight up like... One of them word games online. People having conversations there. Cheating. And think the wife ain't going to find out. Like, you know, you got people that, uh, what do you call them things? Uh, swingers. You got swingers and stuff like that. I looked online one time. I saw something. I said, oh my God. I, said, I had to look up. I was like, what is a swinger? I had to look it up at first. This was years ago. I said, oh. And so needless to say, I got the hell up out that situation real fast because I already knew what I was going. I was like, I'm a rat. Those are the same people that will chase you around and have their exes chasing you from house to house. Somebody will beat you every single day. Every day they'll beat you. And then so why did you leave me? Well, because you was beating me every day. So some people that don't register. So it's just the weirdest. Some pe people are sick. Like I'm trying to tell you. I equate some of this stuff to, I think our mothers need to do a better job or something. We got to do something because this is nonsense. Give me a conversation. What does Jim and I have to say to Aquarius, please? I have an addiction. So on top of you being uh, all of this, playing video games, cheating and everything else, you got an addiction too. They have an addiction. Yep. Give me more. What else is going on? Subjecting your kids to this nonsense out of selfishness. People crazy, like, for real. Give me more, Gemini. What do you have to say to Aquarius here? Now, take these how they resonate. You know what line. It might come out under Gemini, but it, it might actually be Aquarius' thought. You were created just for me. I have an addiction, but you were created for me. Okay. So, being that you were created for me, I expect you to take care of me. I expect you to put up with the cheating and all this other stuff. Give me more. Hmm. I'm here for the smoke today. I am in despair. You might be in despair because you've been forced to move on. Aquarius said, you know what? I know all about your little affair that you had through the app. I know all about the hidden kids. I know all about you getting this one pregnant. And when you do leave the house, that's where you go. Or I'm looking at your phone and I can see cash apps coming from. I ain't give you no money. That's because my money's going to daycare, grocery, and everything else. I got to put my babies in daycare even though you sitting home all day. What? If you, listen, Aquarius, listen, let me tell you, with a bat, <laughs> let me get that bat and start the swinging. You and your stuff gonna get the hell up on out over here. Bye. Get your, I can do this by myself. I'm taking my kids to daycare every day anyway, right? You ain't doing, I'm still paying for daycare. I'm still paying for food. 
You won't pick up a book, but you're going to sit and play video games all day. And then you got the nerve to be texting hoes. Look at that. Ain't that about a mother? Aquarius, what do you have to say to uh, Gemini? Because it says here that you know. And it says here that you want to release your burdens. But it also says, I'm afraid that my children are in a house. I don't want to be a single mother. Nobody wants to be a single mother. When people get pregnant, they never, well, anybody with good sense, they never plan on being a single mother. You do have some women that are like, I want to be a single mother. You do have some people that are like that. I don't want a husband. I just want to be, and that's fine. Knock yourself out. But I feel like this energy here, I don't want to be a single mother. I don't want my kids without a father. He's home every single day. Even though he's cheating, he's a warm body, and he hugs the kids when I bring them home from daycare. He'll put down his uh, joystick to the video games, and he'll hug the kids, and he has a presence in the house. That might be enough for some people. Aquarius, I feel like that's not enough for you. Give me more. Aquarius, what do you have to say? Will you marry me? So you still want to be in this. I have an addiction. Will you marry me? So you had, you knew that this person had an addiction. I feel like that could be a weakness where, again, you want a warm body. I'm not angry at you. Could be playing something down. You were created for me. Upright, it would be, I'm angry at you. I feel like you guys have masked or hidden a lot of feelings in this relationship and you let a lot of crap pass. But I feel like those days might be over at some point because there is deception. I no longer get lost in your eyes. I feel like Aquarius, for some of you guys, you can't even look at your Gemini anymore. I can't even look at you. Like, you make me completely sick. I can't look at you, but my kids, when they look at you, they still love you. These are real family issues. And I don't want to go too deep, but I feel like... I feel like I have to. So I just feel like these are real situations, real scenarios that people go through... And it's like, what will you, what will you do to keep your kids in a beautiful environment, right? Even though it's not beautiful, even though it's effery, it still looks a certain way to them. So we do see Aquarius trying to maintain some sort of status quo in this relationship. And that's what you got. I, I don't like looking at you, but you're still here for the kids. You still lay, lay, you lay next to me every night. I'm still paying for daycare for these kids, even though you sit in home. Let me tell you, listen, I ain't got time. Give me the common energy between these folks, please. I'm going to shuffle these up. Give me the common energy between these folks, please. Let's see. Blank. To me, blank is I'm an open book. I told you how I feel. Could be just status quo. Nothing's going to change. Nothing. The common energy is nothing. We ain't got nothing in common. You got the house. <laughs> got the kids. I lay here. You lay here. We act like everything is fine. I talk with my mistress through the app. I kiss my kids. You can't look at me. I don't care. Mm. Caress me with your heart. I'm going to take one more. I'm an open book. Caress me with your heart. Some of you guys are pretending that you're happy or with this situation or you're like, all right, I'm going to just let it go. I come alive with you. I feel dead with you. I feel like I can't move with you. I feel like there's no progress, but I feel like you guys aren't willing to do anything about it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. It's daytime. I did the read during the day because I took some kind of measures to try and um, alleviate the noise. So I feel a little bit better and I feel like I can get these done faster rather than waiting into the middle of the night. I want to reserve my night times for working on my platforms and things like that. I also want to, I'm trying to get these done so I don't have to worry about them over the weekend because I'm going into prayer. I'm going into prayer because I see a lot of things that need to be dealt with within myself, but I also see things as, excuse me, I see things in our society that need to be prayed over. Like, you got demons, they literally, this is literally warfare. Warfare on our families, warfare on our bills, our economy, the world. I want to get ahead of this. I want to pray. I'm going to go make another video, but I really want you guys to check out these preppers. There are a lot of preppers out there. The preppers are beautiful people. They come in all different uh, colors, shapes, sizes, whatever. 
everybody has a different personality. So go towards the one that you gravitate to, but I would advise you to become friends with a prepper channel. These folks are going to teach you things that maybe you weren't taught. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you soon. Bye.